Hey everybody, I'm Molly Jakes and today I want to show you how to create a layered background texture using my texture brushes in Procreate app. So if you want to go ahead and go snag those brushes, I'm going to put a link in the description and I'll give you folks an awesome discount on those. Um, and if you don't want to use my texture brushes, then you can go ahead and make your own. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start off by creating a new canvas in Procreate app. So go ahead and open up Procreate app and create a new canvas. I'm just going to use mine as screen size. I really like working at screen size. You can make it any size that you want. Okay, so I have my background here and I'm going to go ahead Let's keep the background white. I'm going to navigate to my brushes. So if you downloaded my uh, texture stamp pack, then you can go ahead and navigate to that. So mine is under texture stamps and you can see I have all of these different cool textures to choose from. Okay, let's go with number one. Let's see how it looks. The cool thing about Procreate app is that you can essentially just like take back anything. So really like if you mess up, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to make the brush 100%. Let's see how it looks. Zoom out. Let's pick a color to start with. I'm going to pick a nice blush pink color. And I create, I, um, I selected the very first texture stamp right there. And so with the texture stamps, the key to these is not um, dragging the brush. It's to just do one tap and stamp the brush. So you can see if I just tap, I stamp the brush right there. Okay. Um, and if you want, you can toggle the transparency. You can see it's creating kind of like different uh, transparencies there. I'm going to go ahead and grab a different texture. This one's pretty cool. I'm going to keep it at 100% so it's nice and big. There we go. Oh, that looks sweet. Okay. Maybe toggle the transparency on that. That looks awesome. Okay, so now you can see that I'm really like layering these stamps to kind of create this fun background texture. I'm going to go ahead and create a separate, oops, I accidentally tapped here. I'm going to go ahead and create a separate layer on top. I'm going to grab, I want to use, I have um, one stamp in here. Oh, this one's cool. Okay. So you can see this one is like a bunch of like splatter textures. I'm going to put that one at 100% to grab black in the color panel and just tap. And you can see super cool textures. It's just one tap. And now I have this great background canvas to work on. So now I'm going to create my separate layer on top. Go ahead and grab my favorite calligraphy brush. Under lettering, um, I have this brush pack this lettering brush pack on my website. I'll put a link below in case you folks want to go snag these brushes. But um, one of my favorite brushes to use, let's see here. How about Smoothie Lots? Let's try that one. I'm going to turn on the Streamline. Cool. All right, and there you have it. We have some sweet texture backgrounds going on and some beautiful lettering on top. It's super easy to use those stamped brushes, so go ahead and give it a try. If you like this technique, if you felt like it was helpful, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and most importantly, leave a comment below. Let me know if there's anything that you're kind of just like dying to learn with iPad lettering. Maybe, if you, maybe you've looked at my Instagram or my profile and you, you know, wondered how I did something, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear. All right, that's it. Have fun.